Hi. How's it going? So I am making this video as sort of just a way for me to talk and vent about something that just happened this morning. So I want to say first and foremost, this is sort of my immediate response. More information may come out later. I just got this email literally like 30 minutes ago. More information may come out later or I may not have gotten all of the correct information. So I want to say right out of the gate, I might not know what I'm talking about. And, uh, maybe later after recording this video, I might regret even posting this video at all because it'll just look like I'm complaining or whatever. But I am making this video anyway, so just out of the gate, I'm sorry. <laughs> but this morning, myself and thousands, I'm sure, of creators on YouTube, I saw a ton of my friends tweeting about it, uh, got an email from YouTube this morning saying, Hi there, we're writing to let you know that we're updating the eligibility criteria for channel verification on YouTube. Unfortunately, with these changes, your channel no longer meets the criteria to be verified. We realize this might be disappointing, but we believe these updates will make the channel verification more consistent for users and creators across YouTube. Please keep reading to learn more about the changes and what you can do. So that was cool to wake up to. Just passed doing YouTube for seven years uh, and got that little email. So that's great. Thanks so much, YouTube. Really appreciate it. As you read more, it says YouTube will be proactively verifying channels instead of accepting requests for verification badges. So before you could at uh, I think it was 100,000 subscribers, you unlock the ability to request verification. Uh, and a lot of channels are sort of, like, automatically verified, um, after 100k. Like, if you hit 100k and you request to be verified, it's pretty much just gonna happen. They're trying to be more strict about the process. I understand that. But, what they say down here just just kind of pisses me off to be honest. It says YouTube will be now proactively verifying channels instead of accepting requests for verification badges. We aim to verify channels that represent a, a well-known or high cert, highly searched creator, artist, public figure, or company with a clear need to differentiate themselves from other channels with a similar name. Channels are typically verified if they have built a large audience and community on YouTube. Which, yeah. I guess I haven't done that. <laughs> are widely recognized outside of YouTube and have a strong presence online. Again, guess I haven't done that. <laughs> or have a channel name that could be confused with other channels on YouTube. I don't know what that part means. Are they addressing fake accounts or are they addressing, you know, oh, I'm confusing Jack's films with Jacksepticeye? I, I don't know. The goal is to help channels avoid impersonation and help viewers understand if the channel is the official presence of the creator, celebrity, or brand it represents. The verification bag does not represent endorsements or awards from YouTube. So I think they're basically doing the same thing that Twitter does. They're trying to cover their own ass. They're trying to make it so that, like what happened on Twitter, there was a bunch of like white supremacy accounts that were verified. And so Twitter was like, oh, well, we don't endorse them. That's not what the verification symbol means. It just means that they are like, they are a popular person or a well-known person or whatever. And so with what Twitter did, to my knowledge, I want to say to my knowledge, this may not be correct. A lot of people who did similar stuff to like, there was a specific account, I can't remember what it was, but people were going and saying like, hey, this dude's a white supremacist, why is he verified? So he and a lot of other people with similar beliefs were unverified, which I think is a great choice to make. The way that YouTube is going about it, I don't think is the right way to just unverify a ton, like a majority of people. A majority of people. It doesn't really say what the criteria is, at least in this email. It's just saying that you have to have a large audience on YouTube. I guess close to a million is not a large audience anymore. I don't know. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, yeah, PewDiePie has 100 mil. My channel is not even 1% of his, but a million, almost a million people is still a very substantial amount of people. And I want to say again, this video is going to come across as me as complaining. I'm like, oh, I got a verification symbol taken away from me. I don't really care about the verification symbol all that much. I care that myself and thousands of people have been working their asses off for years and years and years and years and years. And like we've obtained this thing where it's like, oh cool, like I am, I'm like a larger person on YouTube. So I have like this cool like check mark or whatever. Again, the check mark doesn't matter. What matters is that YouTube is coming back again. Like they've just been doing this for years now where they're just 
pushing their creators away. They're just, it's a, such a fucking slap in the face to d receive that email after working my ass off for such a long time and then be like, oh, I guess I'm not good enough for this platform anymore. That's what it feels like. I know that it's not that big of a deal. I know that it's just a check mark. It does not matter at the end of the day. It's not gonna change the way that I make videos. It's not gonna change the kind of videos that I can make. It's not gonna affect monetization. It's not gonna affect the way that, uh, at least, from what they say is that it's not gonna change monetization or the way, um, well, actually, it just says this will not impact monetization of your channel. But that doesn't mean that they're not gonna, that they're gonna push videos in the same way. Because these changes are being rolled out in October. I don't know. Maybe because my channel is no longer verified, they're gonna be like, oh, we don't wanna push ver- we don't wanna push non-verified channels. Maybe that'll happen. Cool. Can't wait to see how that impacts my channel. Because it's true, like, since being verified on Twitter, my tweets get way more interaction than they used to. So is the- is the way that my videos are gonna be pushed out gonna change now that I'm- I'm not gonna be verified anymore? I don't know. I'm basically just making this video to say, fuck you, YouTube. <laughs> like, you just keep pushing your creators away. You're- you're not making a platform that I wanna stay on and you're making it really hard for me to, I don't know, like, at the end of the day, it's just making videos. You know, I, I do love making videos. I don't love YouTube anymore, and I haven't loved YouTube for a really long time. I like being entertaining, and I like, you know, creating stuff, and if I didn't have to do that on YouTube, I wouldn't, honestly, anymore. I used to be really proud of what YouTube stood for. You know, it was, YouTube was a place where, where anyone could come and make something of themselves, you know? It was about the individual, and it was about individual creativity, you know? It wasn't about these big brands. It wasn't, it wasn't TV, you know? You could be anybody on YouTube and, and make something of yourself. You could make content that the entire world could see, and YouTube promoted that. They promoted the person in their bedroom creating stuff, and that, that's what it was all about. It was all about creativity. And now it just seems so fucking mainstream. Like, it's just all about different brands now and like YouTube TV and YouTube Red and all that stuff. And it's like, it's not about the homemade feel anymore. It's not about the individual person. It's about, okay, who can make us the most money? And it sucks so bad. Like, I, sometimes, like, I, I just don't feel like I belong on YouTube anymore. <laughs> if I wanted to be a part of mainstream stuff, then I would attempt to be a part of mainstream stuff, you know? And I'm not bashing mainstream stuff at all. I love TV, and I love movies, and I would love to someday be a part of that world. But that's not why I'm on YouTube. I'm not on YouTube to try and make some big show or make some big movie or anything. I'm here to make the fucking gaming videos that I like to make. I'm here to make the random vlogs that I like to make. Like, I'm not... I'm not trying to be some big, huge brand on YouTube. And I don't think most people are. And so it just sucks that it, it's just like, oh, you've been working your ass off for seven years, 10 years, however long any of these other channels who are now unverified have been making stuff. You've been making all this stuff forever and you used to be a part of what we stood for, but you're not anymore because you're not a big brand that's raking in millions and millions of dollars a year. So we're gonna take that title from you now because you are no longer a part of what we stand for. That's basically what YouTube is saying, at least the way that I'm seeing it. Again, other people may have different opinions and I may be making too much, uh, too big of a deal out of this whole thing. It just really sucks. I don't know, YouTube's changing and I don't like the way that it's going. I don't like the way that the algorithm is going, honestly, with like, I feel like I have to clickbait every single thing that I make and make it super mamey. And like, that's not necessarily YouTube's fault because they're not entirely in control of the algorithm. But every time YouTube makes a change, like, like taking away verification symbols for channels that don't meet the criteria and changing the, the live sub count recently for some reason because they said that people have been asking for abbreviated sub counts uh, Who who has been asking for that? Why did they change that? It's so weird I'm just pissed cuz like the channel is coming close to a million subs I won't be able to see when my channel hits a million subs anymore and so many channels won't be able to see any Any milestones that they hit like it just sucks and why 
Nobody asked for it. I don't understand what the purpose is. How does it benefit anybody? You can just abbreviate the sub count on your YouTube page instead of showing the full thing. And then maybe in the, the about page, it says what the full thing is. And on Social Blade, it still says what your live sub count is. Why are they abbreviating sub counts overall? I don't know. It's so weird. They're making so many weird decisions that nobody's asking for. And it's so odd, and I don't understand, and I just, like, I just hate the state of YouTube right now. I just don't, I don't like it. Ah, it's so annoying. I don't know, I just feel like I've been slapped in the face, is all. I don't understand why they're doing that. I understand that they don't, that they don't want to endorse certain kinds of channels on YouTube. Then take away their verification symbols. Why are you, why are you hurting everybody? For mistakes that few people are making. I don't understand. YouTube, you're pushing away your community. Whole, like, not only your creators, but the people that watch the videos as well. I tweeted out this morning, uh, about that email, and everybody on Twitter is fucking upset about it. All of the replies are like, what the fuck is YouTube doing? YouTube, you're not only pushing away the creators, you're pushing away their entire audience as well. So, when you think that you're just pissing off creators, you're not. You're pissing off the entire community on YouTube. Start caring again. Start caring about your creators. You fucking don't care about them right now. All you care about is huge brands and huge amounts of money. And it's so stupid. And I hate it so much. You're no longer this homegrown website that I feel like I can be a part of. Like, I just, I feel like I'm not a, even a part of YouTube anymore. I just feel so distant from it. And it's because of YouTube. Like, it's, honestly, like, I just don't like the YouTube community right now. I've been streaming a bit more recently on Twitch, and it's been so much fun, and, like, everything... Twitch has its own set of problems, obviously. Every website has their own set of problems. But YouTube, you're pushing away your community. You're becoming, like, the, you're becoming that stereotypical thing of, like, you have become everything that you hated at one point, you know? Back in the very beginning, again, you... You were this place where anybody could come and make a name for themselves. Anybody could be creative and make their own stuff, and YouTube would endorse that and be like, yes, this is what we want to see. Now it's not It's not what YouTube wants to see anymore. It wants to see these big brands coming in and raking them in millions of dollars. And it just sucks. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this is all fresh information in my mind. I don't have all of the information. This is all my own opinion from what I have seen. More information may come out soon or there will, may have been information that I missed. So I'm sorry if I misinformed anybody in any way. Um, but this is the information that I have, the email that I just read to you, and those are my thoughts on it. So that is that. YouTube, I hope you get your act together. Um, yeah. Just sucks.